Hey, it's Joe Tamargo from WetHeadPumpRepair.com. All right, welcome back to part like 22 or 23 of the Hydromax Spa Pump Rebuild Series. All right, we're showing you up and close in HD, starting at part one, part through like 30 on how to completely rebuild this pump. So welcome back. Uh, we've already put back to the uh, back part of the motor. We've already changed the bearing. So we're in this episode here or this part what we're here, we're showing you how to remove the second part of the part uh, this, of the pump seal which is the mechanical spring section that is mounted onto the impeller. All right, so in this video, uh, you're gonna need a new seal, which comes in one of our handy dandy pump rebuild kits that we sell at wetheadpumprepair.com. Also, make sure you hit the subscribe button below. That way you get the latest and greatest videos delivered to your inbox. All right, so here we go. We're, we got our seal that came with the kit that we, we could ship to you. We're gonna take out a second part of the seal. Okay, there it is right there. We're gonna need that. We're gonna need a little bit of seal lube. Okay, here's some seal lube right there. Um, if you buy a kit from us, uh, we usually include seal lube with it as well, depending on availability. Most of the time, the manufacturer have these, and then we buy them from the manufacturer and we give them to you. Sometimes they run out in high volume situations. So if you're watching this thing in the winter, you'll probably get one, the same thing with summer, but once in a while they don't have these, but most of the time we give you a free seal lube as well. Okay, but if you don't have any, any kind of water soluble lube will be fine. You know, nothing that's oil based because that could ruin the seal. You want to use a non oil based lubricant, you know, spit, water, something like that. All right. So now we have the old seal that is mounted on the impeller. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take a pair of channel lock pliers and we're going to open them up a couple a little bit and then we're going to take the seal and go back and forth like that a couple of times. That's going to loosen it up on the shaft. Once we do that, we'll be able to slip the old seal right off of the shaft just like that. All right. So there we go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make sure there's no dirt or any kind of a debris on the pump impeller shaft. We're going to take a little bit of seal lube here. Whoa. We just dropped the impeller. Don't do that. Okay, we take a little bit of seal lube and we're just going to place a little tiny bit of seal lube, a couple, maybe a couple specks there, or just like that, all right? A couple specks, we're just going to wipe it around with our finger. That way it just puts a little tiny bit of lubrication on the shaft there, just like that. And then what we're going to do is place our seal there. We're going to take our uh, new seal. I'm going to hold it by the springs and I'm just going to slide it right on, just like that. You see that? It slides right onto the shaft, just like that. And now we'll be ready to install in there. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna move the camera closer. I'm gonna show you how to install that steel up close and how to mount it on the pump. All right, this is Joe Tomargo from wetheadpumprepair.com. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.